Howdy folks. Today I'm going to show you how to take a list of airports from the airfield guide and import them into ForeFlight. Everybody likes to use ForeFlight and it'd be handy to have some of the strip information from the airfield guide over on ForeFlight so we can see where these runways are as we're flying along through the air. If you're not familiar with the airfield guide, it's airfield.guide in your browser to get there, as you can see at the top of the screen here. What we're going to do is we're going to narrow the list of airports down to those in the South Central region. I'm going to do that by choosing here, South Central. Now I have what we call a filtered list of airports. In order to get those over to ForeFlight, I have to transfer them out of this system into the other system. So currently I'm using Safari as a browser. It works a little bit differently in Google Chrome if you're using that browser on your iPad. We're going to click the Share Filtered List with Other Apps link. And then we are actually going to choose both options. We're going to choose both the detailed map layer and user waypoint options individually because as you'll see they do both provide uh, different capabilities that are valuable. So the first one I'm going to choose is the detailed map layer. It tells me the file is being downloaded. Asks me if I want to download which I'm going to confirm. Then in, up at the top here, I have my little drop down for downloads. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to choose the Airfield Guide for Flight layer. I'm going to get this big screen of gobbledygook. I'm going to click that Send To button in the upper right hand corner. And then I'm going to scroll over to For Flight on my list. Alright, now I'm going to choose custom content and custom map layers. It says my import was a success. Let's just confirm that it worked. By going up here to my layers tab and scrolling to the very bottom, I can see a new airfield guide layer. And when I click that, it's going to show me all of those airstrips that it imported as a part of the map layer. Now this is handy to look at because it shows you the permissive status of these airports, whether you need permission to land there or need to do some pre-flight action before going there or whether they are open to the public. The green ones obviously are open to the public. The yellow ones have some permissive status. That information is available inside the airfield guide. Now, as nice as this map layer is, the problem with it is you can't go direct to any of these things. So because of that, we also want to download the user waypoints for that, uh, for the, our little area. So I'm going to first go in and turn off this map layer. Then I'm going to go back over to Safari. Hit done. Now, I, this time, I'm going to download user waypoints. Same thing. We want to download those. Once they're downloaded, we click our download drop down, click on that list, press our send to button, choose for flight. And it adds our user waypoints into for flight. Now, if we want to see the user waypoints, we have to turn on the user waypoint layer, which I do by clicking here. There you can see all of these user waypoints that have shown up. So for example, if I wanted to uh, choose uh, CR Davis over here, I could click it and I could hit direct to and it would show me how to get from uh, my house to CR Davis in this case. That's all it takes to get the user waypoints and the custom map layer from the airfield guide into four flight. 